That morning, my mother, visibly shaken, woke me up and said that the war had broken out. What war? War with the nation, she replied. I was shocked and didn't know what was going on. The government illegally declared martial law in Poland to suppress the opposition fighting for democracy and the country's sovereignty. They wanted to suppress the Polish gene of freedom. They played Chopin's music on the radio. Telephones didn't work. The streets were empty. The radio warned not to take any photos. I was fearful and terrified by this situation, but I felt that it was a historic moment. I grabbed my camera and left home. I was standing opposite of the cinema Moscow. There was an armoured personal carrier in front of the cinema. A coke oven was burning next to it, besides which armed soldiers were warming up. They looked intimidating. On the building, I could see the signage Cinema Moscow and a huge advertising panel with the title of the film Apocalypse Now by Coppola. Suddenly, it came to my mind that no screenwriter could come up with a better title for this very situation. I turned my back to the cinema and the soldiers then took my camera out of its case. A guy next to me was cleaning shop windows. I turned around and raised my hands with the camera. The guy whispered to me, be careful, a woman at the bus stop raised the alarm with the soldiers by pointing a finger at you. I took a picture anyway and quickly turned around. I went to put the camera back in my bag. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see two soldiers running towards me across the street. They were already in front of me. Give us your camera, they demanded. I was terrified and did not know what to do. I couldn't lose my expensive camera. I said, I'll give you the film. It's new and there is only one photo on it. I will also give you a second roll. It really is new and empty. One soldier looked at the other, who nodded. I gave them the films. I was relieved. I wasn't arrested. I was lucky. The Independent Trade Union Solidarity's office in Mokotovska Street was liquidated, so I went there. Despite the ban, I kept taking photos. I went upstairs in the buildings and knocked on the apartment doors. I wanted to shoot from above. It was much safer. The people were fantastic. Nobody refused. They willingly let me into their flats. I was shooting quickly from the windows so that no one downstairs would notice me. I went to the promenade at Krakowski Przedmieście. In front of the Hotel Europejski stood a tank. I stopped and looked the tanker in the face. The barrel of the tank moved and it was now pointing at me. He set a target. I was scared and left. The regime brutally crushed the hope of freedom. Arrests, tortures, internment, beatings, murders and terror had followed, which did not end with the suspension of martial law. Eight years had passed. In 1989, thanks to the relentless struggle and solidarity of the people, Poland emerged as the first free state from the totalitarian Soviet bloc. After the long night of totalitarian rule, the sun of freedom began rising up.
God save our freedom.